On this July 4th, we celebrate those who won America's independence. One of those brave souls was a woman whom history refer refers to as Molly Pitcher. But that name is folklore. Tonight, we learn about the real woman behind the legend and the search to find her. My colleague, Brett Baer, has her story. Wounded warrior, prisoner of war, disabled veteran, and an inspiration to serve. Jennifer Minus is talking about her hero, Margaret Corbin, one of the first women to fight in the American Revolution. Margaret Corbin's life and actions are not just a story. They are not just folklore. She was a real woman who lived, fought, and was recognized by name in congressional acts and War Department correspondence up to 1790. Corbin's heroic story started on November 16th, 1776, when she took over her husband's cannon after he was killed during the Battle of Fort Washington in Upper Manhattan. From across the Hudson River, General George Washington watched as some 3,000 Americans battled 9,000 British and Hessian troops. It was a devastating loss for the Americans. Many were wounded, including Corbin, who was hit by grape shot in her shoulder and breast, leaving her disabled for the rest of her life. On July 6, 1779, Corbin, nicknamed Captain Molly, was awarded a lifelong Army pension from the Continental Congress. Making her the first woman veteran of the United States. Corbin died in 1800 and was buried in an unmarked grave. In 1926, the Daughters of the American Revolution pinpointed what the group believed was Corbin's grave, a few miles south of West Point. The disinterred remains were taken to West Point and buried underneath a monument depicting Corbin. But in 2016, a shocking discovery was made when a gravesite disturbance led to an archaeological study of those remains. A forensic exam proved it was not Corbin, but rather an unidentified man from the 19th century. Now, a hunt is on to find this American hero. Margaret Corbin is a veteran of the United States. She deserves to have the burial that she earned with her military service in the Battle of Fort Washington. Most would agree, especially Corbin's descendants. I brought my copy of Margaret Corbin's, the story of Margaret Corbin. This is a trove of details. Oh Jonathan Corbin has spent his entire life tracing his 31 ancestors who fought in the American Revolution. My father was the one who told us about Molly Corbin and uh, would read the story to us, as he liked to do. I asked my teacher, how come Molly Corbin's not in this textbook where she should be? Because she was a real hero, and uh, she didn't know the answer. And I hope that... Um, that that uh, changes because we need to give fuller recognition to what women have done. Corbin's monument was erected at West Point some 50 years before the first female cadets. For decades, she has served as a model of unflinching bravery and sacrifice for women in the U.S. military. And for Minus, a mother and a former West Point instructor, Corbin is a source of inspiration. Sometimes some mornings were not that great uh, with two toddler children um, and uh, very difficult and worried about them, but thinking also about what I needed to do the rest of that day in order to lead and inspire cadets. And I would come out that door right there and I would see Margaret Corbin's monument. And I would think if she could do what she did after watching her husband die in front of her, I could do whatever I needed to do that day with no problem. Brett Baer, Fox News.